Coming up on 5-Minute News. COVID-19 cases climbing, wiping out months of progress. Fate of California Governor Gavin Newsom hangs on recall vote. And top generals secretly called China over fears Trump could spark a war. It's Wednesday, September 15. I'm Anthony Davis. COVID-19 deaths and cases in the US have climbed back to levels not seen since last winter, erasing months of progress and potentially bolstering President Joe Biden's argument for his sweeping new vaccination requirements. The cases, driven by the Delta variant, combined with resistance among some Americans to getting the vaccine due to conspiracy theories and misinformation spread by right-wing media, are concentrated mostly in the South. While one-time hotspots like Florida and Louisiana are improving, infection rates are soaring in Kentucky, Georgia and Tennessee, fuelled by children now back in school, loose mask restrictions and low vaccination levels. The dire situation in some hospitals is starting to sound like January's infection peak. Surgeries cancelled in hospitals in Washington State and Utah, severe staff shortages in Kentucky and Alabama, a lack of beds in Tennessee intensive care units at or over capacity in Texas. The deteriorating picture nine months into the nation's vaccination drive has angered and frustrated medical professionals who see the heartbreak as preventable. The vast majority of the dead and the hospitalised have been unvaccinated in what has proved to be a hard lesson for some families. The U.S. is averaging over 1,800 COVID-19 deaths and 170,000 new cases per day, the highest levels respectively since early March and late January. And both figures have been on the rise over the past two weeks. Last week, the president ordered all employers with more than 100 workers to require vaccinations or weekly tests, a measure affecting about 80 million Americans and the roughly 17 million workers at health facilities that receive federal Medicare or Medicaid also will have to be fully vaccinated. With Governor Gavin Newsom's fate at stake, Californians on Tuesday cast the last of the ballots that will decide whether he continues to lead them or if the nation's most populous state veers in a more conservative direction amid anger over his actions during the COVID-19 pandemic. Newsom, a Democrat who is leading in the polls, is only the fourth governor in US history and the second in California to face a recall. He was elected in a landslide less than three years ago. I'm feeling good as long as we can get out that vote, Newsom said after greeting volunteers in San Francisco hours before the polls closed. They designed this to catch us while we're sleeping, Newsom said. The leading Republican candidate is conservative talk show host Larry Elder, who is seeking to become California's first black governor. Newsom got a final push late on Monday from President Joe Biden, who warned that the contest could shape the country's direction on the pandemic, reproductive rights and the battle to slow climate change. The results are also likely to influence the 2022 midterm elections, when control of Congress will be in play again. The party that controls the White House historically loses seats in midterms. Biden said the issues that defined the 2020 presidential race have been resurrected in California, with potentially disastrous results if Newsom is removed. Speaking to hundreds of cheering supporters during a twilight rally in the coastal city of Long Beach, south of Los Angeles, Biden referred to Elder as a clone of Trump. The recall was fueled largely by anger over Newsom's actions during the pandemic, which included imposing the nation's first statewide shutdown order. Critics said he was heavy-handed, shuttering businesses and keeping children out of classrooms for longer than necessary. Gavin Newsom said his actions saved lives. The top US general secretly called his Chinese counterpart twice over concerns that then-President Donald Trump could spark a war with China as his potential election loss loomed and in its aftermath, the Washington Post reported on Tuesday. US General Mark Milley, chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, 
called General Li Zhuacheng of the People's Liberation Army on October 30, 2020, four days before the election, and again on January 8, two days after Trump supporters led a deadly riot at the US Capitol, the newspaper reported. In the calls, Milley sought to assure Li the United States was stable and not going to attack, and if there were to be an attack, he would alert his counterpart ahead of time, the report said. The report was based on Peril, a new book by journalists Bob Woodward and Robert Costa, which they said relied on interviews with 200 sources and is due to be released early next week. Trump named Milley to the top military post in 2018, but began criticizing him, as well as other appointees and former staffers, after losing the presidential election to Biden in November 2020. The Washington Post reported that Milley was motivated to contact Beijing the second time, in part due to a January 8 call with U.S. House of Representatives Speaker Nancy Pelosi, who had asked the general what safeguards were in place to prevent an unstable president from launching a nuclear strike. You can subscribe to 5-Minute News on YouTube with your preferred podcast app. Ask your smart speaker or enable 5-Minute News as your Amazon Alexa flash briefing skill. Subscribe, rate and review online at 5minute.news. 5-Minute News is an evergreen podcast covering politics, inequality, health and climate, delivering independent, unbiased and essential world news. Daily.